Okay, we'll call the committee meetings back to order. We will now go to finance and personnel, which is chaired by Pinky Vargas. Good afternoon. We have two things in front of us today, and I am joined with from fellow council members um, Jack Watt. Oh, whoops, no, he's not on my committee, is he? Michael Lilliquist and Dan Hamill. We have two items in front of us today. The first one, an ordinance of the Lummi Indian Business Council Community Contribution Award uh, to the Office of Emergency Management. The Lummi Indian Business Council held their annual Community Service Awards event recently, and the City of Bellingham's Office of Emergency Management received a $5,000 award to be used towards the enhancements of the community's emergency coordination center. Thank you, Lummi Indian Business Council. That is amazing. Thank you. Uh, we will use the award for um, from the Lummi and Nation to enhance network infrastructure capacity within the Wacom Unified Emergency Coordination Center and add network connected time keeping hardware aimed at improving the common operating picture during events. I think this was a Monday tongue twister quiz. Uh, so in that respect, I'd like to turn it over, if I could, to um, Paul. Are, uh, and actually, uh, I'll start off, Bill, okay. here, the Assistant Fire Chief, and I uh, want to introduce Paul Gazdick to the council here. Paul is our new emergency manager who's been here now for about three weeks, came to us from Brown County, Wisconsin, and, uh, and came in and kind of hit the ground running here. So um, the uh, award from the Lummi Nation, I would like to just point out this is part of their uh, it's part of their pact with the state of Washington um, for the to offset some of the impacts of gambling at the Silver Reef Casino. Um, I would like to highlight that uh, Bellingham OEM was one of two public safety agencies in the county that received an award from them this year. So, yeah, I'm pretty pretty proud of our relationship there and uh, the generous support that we've gotten from the Lummi Nation. So. Just like to say hello. My name is Paul Gazdick. As, uh, Welcome, as Bill Paul. said, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Um, I was the director of emergency management for Brown County, uh, located in Green Bay, Wisconsin, uh, for about two years, and then before that, uh, about two and a half years with the emergency management coordinator. So, been doing this my whole adult career and enjoy it. Uh, love the working relationships with the police, fire, and EMS communities. Uh, we also had a First Nations of uh, the Oneida Reservation uh, right in Green Bay, so we had an opportunity to work with um, some of the uh, similarities and differences between uh, First Nations people and, and, and ourselves. So uh, it's exciting. It's a very fun town. Um, live downtown Fairhaven, so I believe that's in your ward. So nice to see you again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anything else that you wanted to expand on, or should we just vote this through? Move to approve. Michael? Uh, yeah, I'll be voting to approve, and Paul, I want to welcome you. Uh, we've had quite an asset in that emergency management center. The way, I mean, it's, it's a huge asset, and it ties the entire county together, and I'm really glad we have some experienced leadership to replace our previous, even more experienced leadership. Uh, yes, welcome, Paul, and, uh, you know, Roger has been a a staple in this county for a very long time, so you're filling big shoes, but we are very glad to have you. Thank you. Uh, so all those in favor, please say aye. 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 Vote pass, I'll pass on this evening that the vote passes 3-0 is unanimous, I suppose. Or, or I guess it's an ordinance, not a bill, isn't it? It's an ordinance, <laughs> The second item in front of us today is an ordinance adding a new section to the Bellingham Municipal Code to establish the position of a warrant officer at the Bellingham Police Department. Warrant officers are limited authority police officers who are authorized to, among other things, serve warrants and court orders. Effective July 24th, 2015, state law will require law enforcement agencies that employ warrant officers to establish the warrant officer position by enacting an ordinance. Under state law, the ordinance must specify the number, qualifications, and authority of the warrant officers. Consistent with the new law, this ordinance will establish the position of the warrant officer at the police department and specify their qualifications and authority. And with that, I'm gonna turn it over to Deputy Chief David Dahl. Thank you very much. This is a housekeeping ordinance in that we 
we have had this position of the Bellingham Police Department even before I came along. It was 1980 that I know this was the first day of the classification specification for the position. And about two years ago, in 2013, we had the Washington State Association of Sheriffs and Police Chief come and do a what's called a LEMAP assessment of our organization. They take a look at our practices and our policies to see that we are within industry standards. And they noticed that we had these warrant officers, and the warrant officers were given their authority under the Bellingham Municipal Code. However, they pointed out that the state authority at that time really only applied to cities over 400,000, which means that Seattle was the only city in the state of Washington that through the RCW could have these positions. So one of the remedies was to engage with our legislators and see if we can get them to change the law, and that's going to happen next month on the 24th. It will allow cities like Bellingham to have these positions, recognize them in the RCW under our ordinance. So we ask for you to pass this ordinance so that we can uh, continue to do the great work we're doing with these two gentlemen that we currently have as well. <laughs> nice work. Michael. Well, I would say good catch on their part <laughs> and a good catch for fixing it. I would uh, move to recommend uh, approval of this ordinance tonight. I'll be supporting it as well. Okay. All those in favor of the ordinance, please say aye. 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 And uh, we'll pass on a unanimous vote for this, for this evening. And with that, end of committee. Thank you, Pinky. Now we will take another short.